It's your boy Porter Flacco. Anywhere you go, anybody you know, somebody gotta know me. And we're back again with another one, folks. Now check it out, man. Listen, man. When would they learn, bro? When would they learn to leave academics alone, bro? <laughs> First off, he's petty. Second of all, he got resources to be petty, right? Now, for you guys who don't know, man, Peter Rosenberg came on the radio. He was doing all type of simping, all right, uh, all type of grandstanding, virtue signaling. After academics reported on the Tory Lanez and Magda Steyer case details. Academics get the details entirely correct, 100% right? Probably not. But for Peter Rosenberg to come on the radio and act as if, yo, he's so offended, oh, he's so appalled, and then start taking personal digs at academics, right? including his penis size, by the way, that was a little bit too foul. Oh, academics took a sip of that yak and went on Twitch and exploded. Check out the live stream of him just utterly abilitating and exposing Peter Rosenberg and his wife. Rosendweep, do I gotta remind you, buddy? Since you trying to get all super personal, think you trying to psychoanalyze me. Nigga, wasn't you married? Wasn't you married to a woman that was working at some, like, radio, not radio, say some news station? A little birdie was whispering, I don't know. Did your wife get fucked by some black dude that was holding the camera? She dipped from you. She got rid of you. She, yo, I'm, that's the words on the streets. What are you talking about, buddy? Your own wife left you for the BBC. You focusing on the wrong dude. You focusing on black men, but you ain't focused on the black man that got your wife. What happened, bro? You focused on the wrong BBC. What about the BBC that took your shorty from you? Now, if you've ever been on a late night creep session feeling a little bit sassy, and you just happen to come across some videos that are listed and categorized as C-U-C-K-O-L-D, or if you just happen to type into the search bar, C-U-C-K-O-L-D, wife BBC, or husband recording C-U-C-K-O-L-D, wife BBC, then you would probably know what I'm about to say, right? Those two look like the archetype, <laughs> look like the stereotypical couple you will see in those videos. Now, I will say this, though, man. Peter Rosenberg, he's a strong guy, man, right? Because he's still, I guess, a social justice warrior, right? He's still an active social justice warrior, right? He's still speaking up for black women and black women. I'll keep it a buck, man. If I was a white man and one of your low ambition ninjas piped out, doggy pipe, cleaned out my wife with your 12-inch ninja cock, oh, come on, bro. <laughs> I'm not, listen, I'm not hashtagging no black lives matter, bro. I ain't speaking up for nobody. As a matter of fact, bro, I'm your number one op, bro. I'm the top op to the black community if that happened to me, bro. But Peter Rosenberg is still online talking about justice for George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, hashtag Black Lives Matter. Man, you got me chopped. If I was a white man, bro, I'll be the top op for ninjas for the rest of my life, man. If I even spot a ninja, I'm calling the police on spot if one of you ninjas piped out my wife, bro. That's just a fact, man. But he's still speaking up for Black Lives Matter. You know, he's still speaking up for the black community, man. Hey. I got to applaud a brother, man. He's stronger than me, bro. I'll be the top op. I'll be the king of ops for the black community, bro. Right? If one of you... <clears throat> I digress, folks. I had to stop myself because I had sojourned into the character. And I'm about to say that anyway. <laughs> I'm about to say that heavy anyway, but I had to stop myself, folks. Uh, apparently, though, the exposing the academics did was so profound that Peter Rosenberg waved the white flag. Man, he told academics, no moss. He don't want no more smoke. He apologized for getting personal with academics. Now, here's what I will say regarding this, man. This, like, consistent hating, right, or these radio guys being so quick to hop on academics after every mistake, it's just pure hatred, bro. It's, it's, just, it's pure hatred, bro. There's no reason for it, right? It's just pure hatred. They're mad that, I guess, like, their platform or their power is no longer as big as it used to be, right? Academics have paved a new way for especially hip-hop media. Hip-hop media was paid by academics. Really hard to believe right now, but at some point, again, there was a point in time where if, let's say, a big rapper gets shot and killed on Tuesday, people will wake up early, go to their radio, and sit by the radio to hear commentary on that situation. There was no other outlets to hear commentary the day it happened. But academics changed that whole wave up, and now these guys can't stand right. Because listen, academics have single-handedly, or at least help, expedite the process of making radio useless. At this point, what's the purpose of radio? If we want to listen to music, we don't need Funkmaster Flex to play a thousand songs, right? We can just go to Apple Music, Spotify, and play the song that we like. And then in terms of commentary, 
We don't need to wake up at 5 a.m. and go to our radio and wait for somebody to give an opinion on something, right? We can just go to social media, YouTube, and find commentary the day it happens or the hour the news break or even the minute the news break. So at this point, the only, I guess, thing that's keeping radio alive right now is their interviews because artists still feel like they need to go to radio to do interviews, bro. But at some point, that's going to die down too. Academics symbolizes, right, what radio hate, right? It's a new wave that's taking them out of business. And that's why guys like Peter Rosenberg, Ebro, will continually to attack academics no matter what. But it's your boy, Porter Flocko, folks. Like the video, sub to the channel, comment if you want. Also, don't forget, man, click the notification bell twice so you can notify when I drop 24-7. It's your boy, Porter Flocko. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.